Driving conditions are extremely dangerous. Still going to have major problems tonight into tomorrow and likely into Monday and Absolutely. Tuesday as well. The local weather forecasts were unmistakable. By all accounts, this was to be one for the history books. And armed with a new snow removal strategy and months of planning, this time the city was ready. Headed up by the mayor, the District Department of Transportation, and the Department of Public Works, D.C.'s snow team's goal is faster completion of plowing and salting along major roads and residential streets, a strategy that ensures a more rapid return of normal traffic flow and trash collection in other city services. The trucks are, have been running nonstop since 8 o'clock uh, last night. We're literally right now about to go into our third shift. We continue with the full deployment, over 330 trucks, both large and small, going through the neighborhoods. So in fact, we've got 80 uh, trucks or so going on the residential neighborhoods, uh, but uh, we have to make sure the major arteries are done, otherwise uh, we would, the, the city could, uh, could be completely paralyzed. By Saturday, residential roads were passable, with nearly 80% down to bare pavement. The first good news is that the snow has stopped uh, since the last time we had a press conference, which was about 6 o'clock last night. Uh, the total uh, was about 18 inches of snow for Washington, D.C., uh, making this one of the biggest snowstorms that we've had in recent memory uh, in Washington, D.C. To facilitate the cleanup of the blizzard of 2009, the Department of Public Works focused on curb-to-curb -curb salting to minimize refreezing. In addition, the Metropolitan Police Department issued nearly 2,000 tickets along the city's snow emergency routes. Uh, our goal, obviously, for today was to get people out and about to shop, which we know they want to do, and then be ready for rush hour tomorrow morning. And uh, Bill's team and my team will be out in full force. So, A major part of the city's snow removal strategy includes early emphasis on cleaning residential streets. We we're in the residential areas, we're particularly again tonight, we'll be spending more time in the residential areas. We feel pretty good about the main roads, and uh, although we've done, um, there's still some residential streets that we need to get the slush up and uh, the packed snow, so that's what we'll be concentrating on tonight. Our employees who are now going to their fifth shift uh, tonight, and tomorrow morning our sixth full wow. shift. We will be ticketing and towing. I've noticed earlier a lot of cars have gone back out and start parking on the uh, snow emergency routes. So uh, just fair warning, uh, please move your car so that we can do the work that we need to do. It's not only about cleaning the streets, but also the sidewalks, with an emphasis on property owners clearing their walkways to help keep pedestrian traffic off the roadways. We're gonna go out and, uh, and shovel one of the walkways in front of uh, this police department. Uh, because actually any sidewalk in front of a government building is my responsibility for, uh, for shoveling. Uh, this has been uh, one of the biggest storms in the history of Washington, D.C. And so it's pretty safe to say that uh, there probably has never been this type of uh, effort and hard work. Um, there certainly hasn't been this scale uh, of an effort because over the years we've ramped up the snow operation. By Monday, main streets and side streets were clear and the D.C. government was open on time and fully operational. Uh, just a reminder that Monday is a regular trash collection day and recycling day so that to the extent that we can get into your alley, we will do so uh, and we'll make every attempt to, to do that. But as in most cities, the most important feedback comes from the residents themselves. We, we saw a plow almost immediately, you know, when the bulk of it came down. So, yeah, I think you did pretty good. Oh, they did a great job. They definitely did a great job. They've done pretty good this year, really. I think this time, I mean, the main, the streets are pretty clear. But uh, this was a heck of a storm. We're finishing our sixth and final uh, full deployment, which means over 300 uh, plows in the streets of the District of Columbia. So right, we lifted the snow emergency routes uh, this morning. Uh, so residents coming home can feel free to park in the snow emergency routes. Thank them for their patience on that one. But the snow removal team was most thankful to the men and women who helped the city dig out from the blizzard of 2009. The dedicated members of the district snow crew worked into Tuesday morning, 
ensuring that roadways remain clear and work on side streets continue. As always, residents are reminded that if they have a request or concern, to call 311.